Hey everyone, this is Sumlock24 and today I'm going to be showing you an extremely fun deck that um, actually you may have already seen it just depending on uh, uh, whether people decided to play with this particular card and it was made available to me with the, uh, the SR tickets that we get for the, uh, the World Championship I guess. This deck is extremely fun. I'm running one Obelisk Tormento. Three Illusory Snatcher, I think this is one of the primary cards in the deck, that, uh, that and Frog. Uh, and then I'm running two Mobius, the Frost Monarchs. I'm only running two because I only have two. If I had a third one, I think I would most likely want a third one instead of the uh, Grand Mark. But Grand Mark has been s somewhat useful. Um, two Thestalos, I do have three of them, but I, I didn't feel like uh, there was need to run three of them. Uh, running the three uh, Swap Frogs. And I'm not even, I didn't even look to see if we had Ronin Toad, which I think, I think we do. I'm not, I'm not really sure, but if, if we do have it, just, we can go ahead and put them in here. Uh, three Treeborn Frogs, uh, three Sphere Karibos, uh, the one Grandmark, the Rock Monarch, and then two enemy controllers. And I think if this particular deck was, uh, if we had three enemy controllers, this, this deck would just be uh, amazing. And you'd be able to just destroy everyone on, uh, on Duel Links. Uh, hopefully we do get uh, the enemy controllers, but again, they, they are kind of broken. Uh, if you don't have enemy controllers, you can use Soul Exchange, however, it'll run just a little bit slower. Uh, if you don't have a Sphere Karibos, again, Soul Exchanges would, would work also. Uh, and again, if you don't have the Sphere Karibos, you can always run traps, but they are going to interfere with your uh, Treeborn Frog uh, engine. But most of the time, the, uh, the main combo is... Uh, bring out Treeborn Frog during your standby phase, tribute it for enemy controller, get control of their monster, get the, uh, get the, uh, one of your normal, well, not normal, but tribute summons, and then basically attack for game with their monster. Or, you can tribute their monster if you, if they have a ton of back rope, it is safer to just tribute their monster, uh, and then summon one of the monarchs, and then activate the illusory snatcher, and then try to attack, but most of the time, uh, the thing is that you're going to run into the uh, Wall of Disruption, which, again, if you run into Wall of Disruption, you're just going to get destroyed. Uh, Obelisk the Tormentor is easily summoned. Uh, once you get the combo off, if you can get a Monarch and one of the Illusory Snatcher, uh, the next turn you'll be able to bring out a Treeborn Frog, and at that point you have three monsters, so you can bring out Obelisk the Tormentor. Um, if you don't have Obelisk, you can always use the uh, uh, Element of, or Destiny Hero Plasma. I think it's a Destiny Hero. Uh, if not, any other of the uh, other god cards are fine also. Uh, there's also some other level 3 tributes that you can use. Uh, or just as you can use another uh, level 2 or 2 tribute monster, not level 2. Uh, but anyway, here, this is the, the deck that I'm using. Uh, let me go ahead and show you some replays. And I'm really low ranked again, I haven't played at all. Uh, I've run up from silver, I think. And I only played 5 times. Uh, I did lose to a, um, what was it? I lost twice with this deck, I can't remember what it was. I, I think it was one of the, uh, like, it was, I think it was a blue eyes deck. And the reason for that being is, if you don't get an enemy controller against a blue eyes deck, you're kinda stuck. Uh, you can't do much of anything since all the monarchs are at 2400. Your only out at that point would be a, 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 a an obelisk. And, if they have a blue ice, it's really hard to get all those scouts since they're going to be destroying your monster. So, Obelisk and Enemy Control is basically your only out. Kind of gives Red Eyes, which Red Eyes, I mean, it's decent, but I think that the more I just a little bit better. There's about Frog Runs, Tree Run Frog Runs, Special Summon, Enemy Controller into the, uh, the Slash Dragon. Actually, this Trap Card brings out the, uh, the the red eyes black dragon and I don't know I've never liked the uh, the red eyes animation and that is the prismatic version so tribute at four to Stalos to Stalos was, since it was tribute I can go ahead and bring out the uh, the main card of this version and then just attack them set set I draw this power, which wasn't really that good. A mobile would have been way better. But again, I only have two mobile. So I, really, I, I, I can't really hope to draw it. There's a grandma, grandma that actually helps. 
Oh, and I'm not really using any skills. I, I think uh, there's. I'm not using the skills because I'm just trying to uh, level up uh, Lunas and Umbra. But you can use Restart, uh, Draw Sense, Low Level. There's just a like, ton of things that you can use. But again, I'm just trying to upgrade uh, Lunas and so I'm just using it. Too. But the deck does become better if you attach a skill to it. Playing against Buster Blader and again, the enemy controllers are just amazing. And in most of the games that I've played, I've drawn enemy controller. I think once you draw enemy controller in this deck, it's just basically it's almost a free one. There's a, there goes the tree born. Tree born a special summon, activate enemy controller, should be the tree born get control the monster, get tree born back, should be their monster. Bring out a tribute and then bring out the Illusory Snatcher, which is the main card on here. And that's the. I think Illusory Snatcher is kind of underrated. I think a lot more people should be should be winning it. Uh, where was I at? I think I'll see. If not, we'll just go back and then play the next one. Again, there's no rank, so he has like 28 cards. And he's dead. It goes to the tree beam. The fact is that we're running three shot uh, frogs, we can get tree beam in extreme mood. Tree born, tree will come back, tree beam for the tower, come back to the back, and then since the tree beam summon, you can bring out the Elu Series match. So we're going to have the uh, card in hand, and then we're going to have the and then you do have this here for you for the time. Alright, 6,000, which bounces for my more so I just have the here for so it doesn't really matter. Two one comes back, another 6,000 again, and another one which is Matcher, so... Basically, came back to the same field that I had. Special summon uh, spot frog, send tree born tribute spot frog. Clear off the stylus, the stylus activates effect, the loose is nature activates, special summon with nature, and then cover 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 and uh, technical grave screen, which is going to be out uh, of nature. Tree born frog comes up, moto dragons, and two, it's a planetary purple dragon, I think. With this horny dragon. I beat down, straight for evil, I do like the tree born, tree born comes back. I do get an arc of stalls, which I choose for his last card in hand, and then attack the attack. And then I believe just to be safe on this turn I special summon the other coming to And you want to do that especially if they have a back row which they can't really uh, activate any any spell or trap card and try to get the obelisk, so it's basically a secure win. Alright, the last one. And again, low rank. So I think I need to set some time aside and then and just go to the uh, King of Games and then play a player instead of playing in these low ranks. Maybe I'll do that this weekend or I don't know. A power of Dark. This was a really bad hand. Spot frog, spot frog, and just a tree one, tree one, or some other tree one. Just try to pin my deck out. And this was not like a basic, a basic uh, deck that you got to be a fun one.
and I'm just waiting for a moment, basically. Two weeks one, and then get the front back in. And here I was thinking he was going to draw a monster, but unfortunately for me, he didn't draw anything. Uh, tribute one tribute for the uh, Mobius, and then target the target attack. And then after this, I think he's going to come away that he really just draw anything. This one I didn't get to get, but it was usually a or so that's kind of unfortunate. And maybe if I have the time, I'll go ahead and uh, improve a little bit. This was just a, uh, I have picked up the three Usui Snatchers today, so it was just a quick build that I threw together. I didn't really experiment much. I, this was basically the original version that I, that I created. Uh, I didn't try to even use soul exchanges yet. Um, I haven't tried to use, I didn't even search for Ronin Coding, which, let's see if we have it, I don't think we do, but let's see, Ronin, I think that was the name of it, mm, no, we don't have it, let me, well, let me go over the deck list one more time, and then I'll go ahead and search, and then maybe open some packs, alright, so one Obelisk Tormentor, three Illusor, Illusory Snatcher, uh, two Mobius, the Frost Monarchs, uh, two Testalos, three Swap Frogs, Three Treeborn Frogs, uh, three Sphere Karibo, uh, one Grand Mark Barak Monarch, and then two enemy controllers. Um, if you don't have the cards for it, I wouldn't suggest you go for it uh, and try to build it because it's extremely expensive. Uh, everything almost on here is ultra rare or super rare, so uh, don't bother. Be too expensive, and uh, I'm not gonna say it's like extremely high tier. I would say it's around maybe uh, rank three, if anything. It's it's okay, and it's just it's just that it's okay. Don't try to go out of your way for uh, to go ahead and build it. If you're low rank, I think, uh, and if you have the cards, go ahead and give it a try. It's a little bit different. Uh, you are going to get a ton of wins in the lower ranks. Uh, high rank, uh, if you're going against ancient gears, you are going to get trashed. If you if you go against blue eyes again, you're also going to get trashed. Um, if you go against Red Eyes, it's a 50-50 since everything's 2400, uh, and you do run Sphere Karibos, and then you run also uh, the, uh, the enemy controllers. So 50-50 against Red Eyes, um, everything else, you have a decent chance. Uh, the, uh, the heroes, just depending on whether they get masked, which heroes is always a 50-50, if they get two mask changes, you're going to be done, doesn't really matter what, what you're playing. But again, just a uh, somewhat of a fun deck, not a really high tier competitive deck. Um, and I should have some tickets I think to trade in. Wait, the other tickets I don't really think I need anyone. Let's see. There's anything that I need from the uh, super tickets. Maybe dancing fairy, but that's not even that good. Dodger dragon, this card with normal summon cannot be negated. After this card with normal summon, your opponent cannot actually counter trap cards. There's really nothing I want out of here. I might get the uh, golden homunculus, I guess. I don't know if you're going to use the golden homunculus. I'm 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 going to use the golden homunculus. Maybe I'll get the third one of the legendary swinging card. Yeah, let's, let's just do that if I have to. Any other option? Do I have anything else? Valkyrian um, Knight. Monsters your opponent controls cannot target face up warrior type monsters for attacks. Except Valkyrian Knight. When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can banish one warrior type monster and this card from the graveyard. Target one warrior card will have a warrior type monster in the graveyard. Special summon that target. That's a decent card. Uh, well, I'm 
just gonna split with the yeah, legendary Charlie and Charlie. So yeah. Uh, and then we also got the uh, Monster World, which uh, the rewards aren't really that great. I think we've, we've already played, uh, played the, uh, this game before. You should have everything on here except for like the, the new card, which I think was that to chip. Alright, so we're gonna get some of these other packages. Here we get. Oh my god. Yeah. There's an um, Dumbrage, the Elemental Lord, which I think already has the uh, Elemental Lord. And the, the rewards for Chip again. It's a level 5, cannot be normal summer. Set my first special summer for me, and I banish him while I'm like monster from the graveyard. And it's a 1900 attack that cannot be uh, normal summon, so yeah, it's a decent card, I guess. Uh, if you're running lights, you can probably run some sort of synchro deck for this ghost chip. And then special summon this guy, and then you summon level 3, and then go to mate synchro. But I think that's about it. We can't really do much of anything else with it. Um, Yaksha also, which is a spirit, it's a fairy. It cannot be special summoned, then the end phase of the turn this card is normal summoned or full face up. Return to the hand when this card is normal summoned or full face up. You can target one star trap for your turn to the target to the hand. Yeah, I guess it has a decent effect. I still need two more cat tongues. And the gold ship, which if I get time I'll, I'll play some and try to pull some gold ships. Uh, everything else I should have via uh, second time, so I don't really care too much for a battle going to rage. So overall, the event isn't really... Again, if you're just starting to win, I guess it would be a uh, good for you, but since we've been playing for a bit, there's really not much that we want. So let's see what's new in the card trader. Okay, we still have 820 gems, which uh, there, are, there was also a leak for the upcoming box, and it looks like we're going to be getting Black Rose Dragon for the next box. I think everything else is just, I think it was jank. Uh, but I don't really want to go ahead and review anything until we have an official, I guess. Uh, not, like, whenever they add it to Bruins, I guess, or whenever they tell us that it's going to be released. Uh, I've already opened all the section boxes, so if you missed yesterday's video, go ahead and check it out. Uh, I opened uh, all of the uh, the ones that require gems, and I got some decent. Well, actually, one of them was, was really good. Go ahead and check it out and see that uh, that pack opening. It was towards the uh, the end of the episode. Uh, I haven't opened any of the uh, the new boxes. Or actually, I did yesterday. I guess we wanted to. Uh, what was it? The Lord of Shining. I think yeah, uh, I think I did open several of these. Um, let's not open any today. We're already at like almost 20 minutes so let's leave it there if you have any questions or comments leave them in the comment section below uh, if you enjoyed this video go ahead and leave a like and if you are enjoying my content do subscribe and i'll see you guys next time